The Phoenix Symphony is celebrating its 75th anniversary in the best way possible. Its full orchestra returning to the stage for the first time since the pandemic shut them down. And Team 12's Jess Winters shares what the symphony is calling an emotional homecoming. Music is healing. It feeds the soul. The hardest thing was that Times are like this, I think we need the music the most, and we couldn't perform. After 18 months of nothing but digital shows and small ensembles. We canceled 140 performances. We had to make heartbreaking decisions. The full 63 member orchestra will finally return to Phoenix Symphony Hall in front of an audience. I'm beyond excited. Symphony president and CEO Suzanne Wilson says opening night on October 22nd will kick off its 75th anniversary season. But that's not the only reason to celebrate. Really, this year, the reason it's going to be the most special is because we're bringing back our orchestra and we're going to be here connecting again with our community. Violinist Anna Cazapiti says she's been practicing nonstop. So coming back, as excited as we are, we are a little anxious. <laughs> she's expecting butterflies and tears from both the stage and the seats. Tears of joy and I think gratitude as well. We've been incredibly fortunate. The reason that we're here is because of our steadfast and loyal patrons and supporters. And we wouldn't be celebrating the 75th if it wasn't for them. If you want to check out a concert, don't forget your mask. Also, the symphony is requiring either a negative COVID test within three days of a performance or proof of vaccination. Jess Winters, 12 News. Again, the season kicks off this Friday, October 22nd. Tickets are on sale right now.